coming in. I think he's number nine or number ten. We thank you. The, the top ten have made it in. We almost had a new record. I think he missed it by 20 seconds. It was a handful of seconds. Oh my it's God. Close. But he was digging it out at the end. Now, as these gentlemen are crossing, all these guys are still crossing. Congratulations, guys. Good job, you all. All of these are in the top 15, the top 20. We're looking for lady female number one. There is a chance to break the female. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that.
our names and numbers over here, so we can't tell you who it is, but we're going to look for it. Hey, we are. There is a way of time telling time. Please proceed to the tent, the first, second, and third, went it over to the academy tent, and every runner, as you cross the line, go to the Red Creek Building, a.k.a. the Kilby Building. Back when I was in high school, that's where all the bad kids went. Yeah, I was over there a few times. That's what I heard. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. And I think, I think my dad may have been, too. But, hey, you can't, I you can't know, have a little fun without a little you. trouble. He was, he was. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. a troublemaker. He's calmed down since, but <laughs> you like to get around. Congratulations, guys and gals, for coming across the start finish line. I'm sorry we have a little take of, Hey, beat your friend, buddy. Beat your friend. Be strong. Come on, come on. Give it all you got. So we're under 22 minutes, Jackson. We are. If we've had like 150, 200 runners to do this in under 20 minutes. Oh my goodness. If we didn't break a record, we may break the average of runners and being able to finish quickly because people are just flying across this finish line right now. We got runners yes, of all sir. ages all over yes, the country sir. crossing this line right here in Anson, Alabama. It's an amazing thing to see. Oh my God, Jackson. The only thing I really miss is being able to call what city and state I know. because we got runners from all over the South, all over. the Midwestern United States. I mean, runners from everywhere. All over the world. Every year, all over the world. It's an international event. To Aniston, Alabama. Exactly. What's up, Aniston? We're so excited. You know, Aniston has been named a runner-friendly city by the Road Runners Club of America. It's a distinction that we are so proud of. And a big part of that is the Aniston Runners Club and events like the incredible Woodstock 5K here today are awesome runners again. Technical difficulties. We want to be saying everyone's name in hometown. The technology is not working with us today. But remember our top three uh, men's and women's finishers. Make sure you go to the press tent, the academy tent. And everyone else, as you finish, catch your breath, head to the Kilby House, get your meal tickets and other items, and remember as well, if you have a little one running in our kid stock, that will kick off around nine. Oh, that's right. Hey, that's my favorite. Now that one, I might run it. I think I can beat one of these. <laughs> I might get in there. At least one, you know how? I got a $20 bill. I bet some, I pay somebody. Yeah. Don't let me be like I would run it and I'd throw some candy out of my pocket <laughs> onto the sidewalk and maybe it'd distract them all. Yeah! Finish line. All right. 
show. We've had the official winner, but this is Beat Your Betty. Absolutely. <laughs> this is Beat Your Spouse. This is bragging rights. This oh, is not even that, that finish line. You work with that dude. You don't want to hear his mouth until next August. Beat Your Buddy. Beat Your Workmate. Absolutely. Beat them in this race and then head back to work Monday and say, I'm taking that parking spot now because I beat you in the race. Yes, sir. Park around back. Exactly. You head to the back now. That's where the, where the people will finish behind the park. <laughs> Jackson, I don't have an accurate number of how many runners, but I've been this. This is 10 years in a row. I look, I think that we may have more runners today than ever. I, it looks like it. I mean, good. They just keep pouring across the finish line. I
tired and on the other side. And then along the way, I got here and it was hard to find a place to park. Good job, 453. You win it. You're a winner. You finish it. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Sorry that I can't call your name out. We have a little technical difficulties. But you know who you are. You know you were here today. Here comes the first mom with a stroller. Here's the first mom with a stroller. I was down. I saw a bunch of them earlier, but this is the first one across. This has got to be a special prize for the mom with a stroller.
Oh, shoot, they got the technical difficulties done. Roy Patel, Tim Mitchell, Harrison, Sidney Kuchin from Birmingham, Beth Rosenbaum from Wellington, Lady Stevens from Mumford, Alabama, Marky Davis from Bell City. Oh, Lord. Landon Shirley from Jacksonville. Oh, they coming in now. Lawrence Smith is from Hess. Sonny Cotton is here. Mike Edge from Ashland, Alabama. Hayden Norris is from Huntsville, Alabama. They're coming strong, man. We're, we're finished. Oh, man, we are, we're finishing strong. We have Mark Williams from Jacksonville. Alice Grover from Oxford. <laughs> Lucas Field from Huntsville, Hayden Norris from Heflin, Mike Edge from Ashland, Jace Bland from Ashland, David Edwards from Oxford, Joshua Castile from Madison, Chase Cotton from Weaver, and as Vern said, Sonny Cotton from Weaver also. There you go, Adam Storage from Oxford, Alabama. Come on. The big O's in the house. Huntsville, Lucas Field is in the house. Man, we, they're all over. All over. As we said, all over. We have ages from 8 years old to 65. We have runners from all
If you finish number 42, come up to the announcement for a special surprise. Linda Thomas is from Punta Gorda, Florida. She's 66 years old. Linda, welcome, welcome to Anderson, Alabama. Girl, you finishing strong. We are so happy to have you. We have Shay Jackson from Anniston, Emma Denninson from Crockwell, Sloan Wilson from Anniston, Caleb Duncan from Leeds, Keith Chase from Temple. Hey, you know, one of the reasons we announce ages because there are different age groups and their prizes for winning your age group. So it's not to throw anybody's age out there, but if you're in a select group, hey, you could be the winner of your group. There's Jan Martin from Oxford is 64. Patricia Clayton from Jacksonville is 71. Virginia Parker, 83. Virginia is on her way to the start finish line. Come on. Thank you. 
Oh my goodness. He could have had two He's running. <laughs>
When the coach says, what's your qualification? Flip around and say, look at me, Jack. Hey, look right here. You need me on your team. I ran a whole bunch of miles over you, and he had a grasshopper. Linda Hawkstrom from Hoover, Alabama. Linda is 70 years old. Susan Howell from Oxford, Alabama. Tanya Moore is from Asheville, Alabama. Ma Mary Martha Dalrum is from Anderson, Alabama. Good job. Jerry Bynum from Jacksonville. Jerry is 69 years old. Good job, Jerry. You are finishing strong. Look at Linda. I'm talking about she is. Look at that strong courage right there. She's finished. Not going to stop. Get your medals, runners, as you cross that finish line. We have Julie Thomas from Talladega, Chad Seals from Birmingham. We got Miller Stevens from Hartsville, Christopher Jones from Aniston, Brenda Bell from Munford. We have Gary Torsen from Aniston. We have Casey Klein from Bell City. We have Janet Butler McGee from Talladega.
Chosen by him from Wellington, Kim Stevens from Bell City, and Amanda Morgan from Oxford. We also got Abby Wiener from Aniston, Allison Waltz from Aniston, Randy Banks from Southside, Taylor Kimball from Jacksonville. Winner! On your mark! Ready! Yeah. Yeah.